she, 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 there's no reason for her to be afraid of me. I would, I would, I would not harm her or anything. Mm -hmm. Have you ever harmed her before? Hit her? Pushed her? Done anything like that? In, that's, uh, there were some uh, minor incidents. And may, maybe there was, uh, well, the other th therapist talked about, about that a long time, a very long time, about me being aggressive. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, talking about killing your baby, isn't that aggressive as well? Mm -hmm. So who's aggressive? Mm -hmm. and, they, and they were expecting that I, I would sit there and listen, mm -hmm. very calm, mm -hmm. indifferent, about mm -hmm. her making plans about killing my baby mm -hmm. and, and not losing my temper. Mm -hmm. Of course I lost my temper then. Mm -hmm. And of course I did things that I regret. Like what? Well, at one point, uh, there's been, been a moment that she, she tried to, that I, I held her and uh, she tried to run, uh, run away and, and by accident her finger broke. Mm -hmm. But that was not, that was not in, on purpose mm -hmm. and it was, not, uh, it was not my intention to harm her. Mm -hmm. But by hiding from me, uh -huh. she was hitting me as well. Uh -huh. So what would you do? Hit her. Physically though? Yes. Okay. So... So part of your relationship was that you were hitting her, physically. And the other part was that she was hitting me. Psychologically? Yeah. Okay. Those are different, though. They feel the same. Yeah, they feel they the same. They may feel the same. I grant you, they may feel the same. But they are different. To physically hit someone is different than to hurt them psychologically. I'd, so I'd, I'd ra if I had a choice, uh -huh. I would rather that she hit me. Yeah. Than that she hit me in the way she did. Yeah. So for me, there is there is there is there is a difference, but yeah, the yeah. other way around, as you put it. Yeah, that it hurts more to be hurt psychologically. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think a lot of people probably feel the same way. It's probably not an uncommon way to feel. Okay. So that that makes sense. Do you want a therapist though who will help you see the things you are doing that you might not be aware of? Yes. You realize that'll be painful. I mean, do you realize that? I mean, surely you do, because this, it seems to me like this has been somewhat of a painful interaction itself. Has this been painful? Yeah. So that's one thing about therapy, I have to tell you. Therapy is usually very painful. One of the painful parts of therapy, among other parts, are that you often see things about yourself that you don't like. Um, so you kind of have to be ready for that before you go into it. Well, th I think it, it, it couldn't be worse than uh, the last few months. Yeah. Okay, so one, you have to see things about yourself you don't like, and the other is often in therapy you have to work on changing things about yourself. You willing to do that? Again, I, I, my, my first reaction is, why should I change? Right. So are you willing to change anyway? So you notice that he said, why should I change? So you may wonder, why didn't I discuss that with him? The reason I didn't discuss it with him is in my own mind, I'm thinking, this is irrelevant. The facts of the matter are, you're going to have to change, and there's no point in discussing why you have to change. For one, we've already discussed it. You're the only one in therapy. And second, really, I'm thinking in my own mind, you know, tough shit. You'll have to change. So I want to make sure he's on board. So I say, so are you willing to change anyway? In other words, I didn't get any discussion of why should he change. I want to move him into agreeing that he will change.